Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Boy, I tell y'all. I'm one of the ones that had said when Portia was out with her mom and father time and they were riding in the Rolls Royce and they were listening to Before I Let You Go. And I kept telling y'all that is a grown folk song. PJ don't need to be rocking to no song like that. She do not need to be rocking to no song like that. Now, for all of the ones that say, oh, that song is okay. Uh, let's just see this picture right here. This comes from Portia Page. Look what she's listening to now. Yeah, you should be looking that way, um, Miss Diane. She's saying, uh, you better work, bitch. You better make it something. How she keep her bills paid? Work, bitch, on him. Mm -hmm. Now, that's what Portia got her daughter listening to. Some crap stuff like this. You don't believe me? Go on over there to her channel. She still got the video up. And her baby girl just moving in her seat, shaking her head, trying to dance to that music, and everything. And she's laughing about it. So I'm saying, you see, you let one entity in and you think it's okay, it ain't gonna do no harm, then the floodgates start. And that's basically what you think PJ gonna be uh picking up and probably she liking that beat or whatnot. She gonna start singing that. Mm-hmm. Then you have a child having behavioral problems. Mm-hmm. And then a the teacher gonna wanna have a conference, Dennis. Mm-hmm. It's just full of shit. So I'm thinking, Simon, do you really want to be putting up with this stuff right here? Would you have Portia having that kind of music around your children? This is your queen, your princess. Do you do Fallon or Shamil play music like that around their children? Children are very impressionable. And they would take something. And run with it and expose you at the worst time. Like if you're going around that house cussing all the time and carrying on. What you think your children going to do? Outside of the house while you're not around. When the opportunity fits itself. And they remember when you used to do this around a certain situation. This is what you said. You don't make them cuss words going to come out. That sounds like put it on him. Something. Get it, bitch. All this kind of stuff. And all thing she doing is laughing. Laughing about it. Ain't shit funny. <coughs> and this is coming from a girl <coughs> or a young lady that used to go to church all the time and say she knew the Lord and all this kind of stuff. <sighs> I tell you, y'all, y'all be saying I be tripping. And I be like trying to make her toe the line or...
let her find some reasoning of faults she has and flaws she has. I mean, you're you're trying to raise a queen, and if you're letting her listen to music like that, she's going to turn around and be a hoe. And she's going to be thinking she can get these men's money as long as she spread her legs and she keep them happy sexually. Because that's that song called Body, Hips, and Thighs or something like that. The remix. And all thing she's doing is laughing. And her baby girl just up there just listening to the music. And, you know, but she's open to receiving what the lyrics are saying as well. Because they're very impressionable and at this time they minds absorb everything that's why it's good when you want to teach your child to learn different languages these are the formative years that that stuff can sit or stick and go with them but Portia got her baby girl listening to rap music got a hell of a lot of cuss words in it and it's talking about spreading your legs to let a man get what he got to get so you can control his wallet. That's prostitution right there, isn't it? Isn't it? In a nutshell. Like, Dennis, if you don't get your child, honey, Gina, help him get his child. Because Portia definitely done lost her mind. And Simon, uh, do you think your community or your tribe or your culture will accept the woman like this yeah diane you should be very appalled but it makes me think what did you teach portia what did your mama teach you because that's messed up stuff right there i said i knew it was coming around i knew it would come back around and sure it has not even three to six months later i think i talked about this last month in one of my videos though could have been this month when she was bouncing around, it was Mother's Day. Or it was a week before Mother's Day. It was one of those. So it happened in May. And before May ended, look what she got her child listening to. And I'm like, if this don't make you run for the hills, Simon. Because she's showing her character. And she's teaching her daughter that's okay to listen to that kind of music. That's cool. And yeah, you need to get whatever you can out of a man. If he got the right money, you could be sitting pretty. You just have to give him what you think he, he think he wants. You have to play that role. And you might have to sleep with him too. This is what she's training her child. I don't even know if she really know what she's doing. That's why I think Dennis would be a better parent. He would be a better parent. Because he's not going to let certain things seep into her memory banks he's not gonna let her be around things that she don't need to be knowing nothing about until she grown well you know at least she probably get in what he call it uh what is it called preschool not preschool um middle school that's when they start feeling themselves smelling themselves yep 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 but i tried to tell y'all I said, uh-uh, Porsche going down the wrong road with this uh, situation by her listening to, letting her listen to anything that considers to be grown folks' music. You know what I'm saying? She could have got the clean version. She could have had uh, the big red women, the big yellow bus go round and round, round and round, round and round, skip, 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 skip. you know, make her own little thing. When she got her in the car, hell, I did it. I did it with my child. I ain't never listened to no crazy music like that. Or if I was when I was picking up from school, I made sure I changed the channel. Yes, Lord. Because I already knew what time it was. These kids be knowing. Of course, don't get me wrong. They're going to get it outside of the household. They're going to hear it. They're going to probably like it and all that kind of stuff. But you're not giving it to them. You're giving them wholesome stuff. And like I said, all rap is not bad. But when you basically talking about using your body to get what you want and you training your daughter that by letting her listen to some music that's telling her what she can do with her body to get what she needs. And she's uh, shaking and rocking to, to the music and that's three years old. She might remember this and start quoting it word for word and then what Portia going to do when she bring it out at the moment she don't need to be bringing it out. She's going to embarrass her, but people going to look at Portia. They ain't going to look at the child because the child is supposed to be raised by the parent. The parents. So I'm like, Dennis, Mama Gina, 
y'all need to have an intervention with Miss Portia Williams. Because she just don't know the damage that she's doing to her child. And we all need to be in outrage about that. That's crazy. And she's trying to rebrand herself. I don't see how. How you going to rebrand yourself? Because we already know what you're about and you proved it. You put it on your social media. Like this is what I listen to and this is what my baby girl listen to. And I'm teaching her what I want her to know that's going to be very vital. So, yeah, baby, listen to this music. Listen to this music. And then she cackling. <laughs> like, what kind of shit is that, Portia? Damn, you got the damn devil in you or some girl? I don't know. But that's all I have for the video, guys. I just wanted to come back and tell y'all. Y'all were wrong for the ones that were saying, oh, no. That music is fine. She can listen to that. Now look what she got her child listening to. Now look and see what she got her child listening to. And don't look upset, Diane, because I blame you too. I blame you. Because you out there looking like you need to get back into your 20s when you need to be acting your age. And telling your daughter when she's wrong and when she's parenting wrong. The optics don't look good. What you uh, let her listen to is not good. So what you think the outcome going to be? Not good. Y'all like it, love it, gotta have more. Y'all definitely um, get down in them comments because we need to talk about this situation. We do. We need to talk about this. Because I was like, ooh, I'm 250 to be tired. And then it looked like she got makeup on the girl. You know, like she um, like got r rosy um, lips or something. I'm like, I know she ain't putting no lipstick on that girl. I know she did. But let's get in the comments. Let's talk about this thing because this is very troubling. It really is very troubling. And I'll see y'all next video.